So this is the new Mazda MX-5 RF and uh, it is a beautiful beautiful car. Of course it's not in the, the red that we expected but at least this is a nice pearlescent white color and uh, I think it looks great. It even has Napa leather, low sound system, you know seriously I mean where can you buy a car that is about 1000 plus kilo and it's manual, you know, it's luxurious interior and you get a, a folding hard top that doesn't eat into the space of the boot, right? It is engineered in a way, right, that um, the top doesn't affect the boot space. The boot space remains the same as the soft top. So this hard top roof, right, it operates the same space as the soft top roof. That's quite an engineering feat when you think about it. Look at it, look at it. And it will slow down towards the end of the operation. This is the part. And look at it as it close, right? It will sort of take us down and so sort of, you know, this is like a Japanese manner, you know, they say that when they when they open and close doors, they will, you know, uh, you know close it lightly. So it's really, really nice to see that. And of course, uh, this is the boss of uh, Mazda Malaysia, Tato Benjo. He is an all-out car guy. I can tell you, he is the only boss, right, where you can throw you questions like distance, compression ratios, right? He knows his shit. He is an automotive mechanical engineer. So he is a boss that's not only good in business, but he is a driving enthusiast. He is a car enthusiast. And that's uh, Dato Benyo, and he is the guy manning uh, Mazda Malaysia. We, we once asked him a question, uh, whether does it make a business sense to bring in the MX-5? And what he said really made our heart warm, because he said that the MX-5 is an icon of Mazda, and it doesn't matter whether they make money or not. They might, even if they lose money, it's worth it. Okay, good. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. So I really like the part whereby the roof, when it when it when it's towards the end of its operation, it will slow down and it will, you know, like close it lightly. So that's how the roof operates. And I think this this car looks beautiful, beautiful. It's small, but it's athletic, and it looks, you know, it looks like what you know. It looks like those 1950s, 1940s Ferrari. It looks like that. This is how the car looks like and it's pure driving and as a, as a cabriolet owner myself I can tell you my BMW it is rough when it closes the roof it just goes katak you know but this guy no this guy is soft it's really really nice let's have a look I love the combination white color napa leather and it's just beautiful show you the uh, interior so you see it has Bose sound system on here the speakers and those soft Napa leather cross stitching and all that is really nice now I shouldn't jump in the car because that would be really un-Japanese to do because everybody is trying to take a picture here so uh, we'll just leave it at, at, at that all right so the interior remains the same but then of course the the upholstery is really nice and I really like the body color how the body color actually goes into the door panel as you can see I mean most cars right the door panels are covered with another plastic but did you notice the door panels are white color on the top that is actually part of the structure of the door itself it's a very unique design and um, I really like what they did with that so I've driven the uh, I've driven the two liter automatic I've driven the 1.5 manual but I haven't driven the 2 liter manual yet so we were in Japan earlier on driving the Targa of course compared to the Cabriolet it has more turbulence when the top is down uh, because of the Targa design where you don't have the roof here over here you don't have the roof area so it has an area whereby the, the wind actually goes in and then there will be slightly more turbulent than the soft top uh, but however it looks way 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 better the uh, the hard top is actually the looker here and it almost have a have a concourse design to it except this bit here right but that is like a, a cute cute execution like almost because this car is really small right it's almost like a um, 
uh, RC car feeling to it right so it, it is just a really really sweet looking car and I think if you are in your 40s in your 50s you want a sports car to live up your life to live in your, your life I think this guy is the car for it because uh, it's not exactly expensive 240 over thousand right it's actually quite affordable ladies and, gentlemen, and it's not a slow car mind you yeah, yes, there's only two liter of displacement but then it is a fast car because it is very lightweight all right so that's the uh, Mazda MX-5 RF for you uh, I think it's a fantastic car if your budget is about 230 240,000 seriously this is the car to buy this is the car to buy right it has a folding hard top proper excellent manual gearbox and it is an enthusiast car look at it just look at it Right. So, uh, I'll give you another good look at this interior. And they even designed this flying buttress, you know. The, the reason why they have this huge thing at the back is that they want to do a folding hard top, right? But uh, they, first of all, they don't want the roof mechanism to go into the boot area. That's the first thing. Secondly, they want a beautiful silhouette of the roof when it's closed they want it to be absolutely beautiful that's why right they created this thing almost that looks like a flying buttress and that is actually to to make the car look very very different it almost looks like an mr car a mid-engine rear wheel drive car would have this kind of profile not a front engine all right i'm gonna show you the front there we go so do come to Setia Alam Convention Center this weekend and you can test drive all the Mazdas. You can watch the excellent presentation that we have just watched. It is amazing. Mazda actually uses 4D projection to do their presentation and uh, we really like what, what they did and uh, it's fantastic. Look at the car. Right? Yeah. That's it, uh, and then uh, put in your comments and uh, anything you just ask me, alright? I've driven the car, alright? Cheers!